Yo, this is Quentin Moore chilling in the Cigar Lounge. This is the Captain, Hobo King 82. Hi, guys! Yo, this is MJ from Hot Garbage Cigar Club, and you're watching Cigar Lounge and Podcast. What's up, everybody? It is your local hero. Back again, Cigar Lounge and Podcast, another episode. Um, I'm here with my co-host, Kimbro. What it do? You know what it is. It's me. So, Kim, bro, the ceremonial question. What are you smoking? What are you drinking, sir? Well, I'm lighting up this CAO uh, 60, and I'm drinking on my uh, the Infinity bottle from 2023, which is my mixture of everything that I drank from last year. Still working on it. I killed mine early. Mm-hmm. Um, I got me a payback, and I'm drinking... Uh, I'm drinking some um, what the fuck is that? Tell him more. But I'm drinking out the CLP. Here we go. Where is it? Oh, here we go. I'm drinking out of the CLP tumbler. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so let's get to the um, uh, let's get to the show, man. Everybody chill. Let's get let's go ahead and get into the show, everybody. Oh, so man, my ceremonial. It's ceremonial what? Ceremonial sip. God damn, that's cold. That shit. Like ice. It's cold out here. Yeah, you left it in that cold shit. ass car. Be what you expect. You're right. That's my phone. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. So. Anyway. Man, did you hear, did you hear about that shit? Uh, uh, but anyway, it's just uh, on a radio show. Uh, I forgot which station it is. They have this segment called, uh, like, uh, I don't remember the name of the segment. But anyway, the premise of the segment is, is that, you know, they call, people call into the radio station mm-hmm. and they want to get in touch with somebody that ghosted them. They probably went on like a date or whatever and now the motherfucker ain't responding to them. So it was a funny one <laughs> where they called in and basically, I don't, I don't remember the whole story, but, but, but she had an issue with because this was their first date. They talked back and forth. They met on some fucking dating platform or whatever. They messaged each other. Then they met up for the first date. And she asked, like, where they're going to go or whatever. He basically was like, it's going to be a surprise. And surprise, they was at Costco for their first date in the food court at Costco. Um, and... She was kind of already thrown back. They still kind of had like a good time. It was something else he did. I don't fucking remember. But it, I'm still tripping. Like, I'm not saying you got to take nobody expensive, but I just, I was laughing because he took her to Costco <laughs> the first day. Well, well, <laughs> it was funny as hell to me. <laughs> Come on, like, first of all, Costco is fucking nuts. It's too many fucking whining ass babies. People running left. Like, how the fuck can you even hold a conversation in a loud-ass Costco? Second of all, granted, I slam me a co- Pause. I slam a, co- a, a Costco hot dog in a minute. Pause again. Very appropriate pause. Even the pizza Very is pretty good. P- <laughs> and the pizza is pretty good, but I don't know. I'm not taking... I'm just not doing Costco as the first day. I'd rather do McDonald's as the first day than a fuck Costco. I'm like, first of all, first of all, first of all, y'all, McDonald's, anybody, any fucking bum off the street could walk into McDonald's and ask you for something. We're talking Costco. This shit is exclusive. You got to have a membership. It's a secret <laughs> society. All they have is truck. Fuck, we talking Costco. Yo, okay, you got, what we tripping over? You went to Costco. What, so, would it make it better if he bought a watch and some tissue? Maybe. Like, I don't Costco. know. You sit at Costco. <laughs> and look, how many times have you went out on a date and you was like, I'm going to drop her off. Damn, I forgot. I, I need some tissue or some dishwashing detergent. And I don't feel like I don't feel like driving to the crib. Come on, man. How many times did that happen? But, but in all fairness, remember that whole um, first date list that came out and places that you can't take a woman on the first date? Uh, Costco, Costco wasn't on, on that list. list. Costco wasn't Costco on that list, so so it, it sounds like fair game, though. You know, it definitely does. 
A lot of you, <laughs> hey, a lot of you free lunch eating motherfuckers is real picky about where you eat now. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of a lot of you free lunch ass motherfuckers. Now you trying to be picky. The fuck out of here. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? So so you say you gonna be at Costco on the first day balling out on them? Yeah, yeah. I might get a TV. <laughs> 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 but I don't think they even went shopping. I think they just went to the food courts, got the dollar fifty hot dogs with a pop and uh, probably a two dollar slice of pizza. Look, 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 in this day and age, right? As the serious kind of, but let me be serious kind of a little bit for a second. In this day and age, a lot of these females just want free meals out of you. So since you want to act mm-hmm. like a dependent, I'm gonna treat you like a dependent. I'll take care of the McDonald's, give you a happy meal. How about that? <laughs> he paid for it. At what the fuck's he complaining for? Did he, dri- did, at did least he drive? Did he drive? More likely. So if he so he paid for the gas, he paid for the membership, and he paid for the food. <laughs> what the fuck is he bitching over? <laughs> and 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 if you go in on the right day, which is usually every day, you can go through the store and get free samples. And, 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 and if they got a liquor department, man, he could have went back there and got us. Even if they didn't, he could have got us some sparkling grape, um, grape juice and some shit. He could have motherfucking pulled that shit out one of those fancy glasses. He could have. You know I don't know if they. I don't, I don't know if they can drink that on the premises. <laughs> I understand. It's a BYOB. You said the liquor. You no, said they got do, an alcohol no, section. No, let's do the grape juice. Let's do the grape juice. You're right because I got to drive back. I want to. I want to appear responsible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 let's get some grape juice. You know what I'm saying? You grape juice, mm-hmm. grape drink, my lady. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Is? Come on, man. You're in an exclusive club. <laughs> Eating food that was freshly <laughs> prepared by them. <laughs> Drinking the finest Maybe. of grape drink. <laughs> Welchers. What the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> Not grape juice, but grape drink. Great drink. What are we talking about? What are we, and it's sparkling on top want, of that. What, what more do you want from me? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Not the Costco. God damn, Costco. Look, man. All right. All right. What is the worst date you've been on, man? Worst that I've been on? I don't know. It never really was a... Never really was a um, going on date kind of guy. Usually, somehow, I always end up in relationships without going on dates. I don't know how that happened. Huh. I gotta say, the, the worst experience I had was this nagging-ass chick. Uh... And she was just talking shit all night to the point where I was throwing all, all off my game. Other than that, I don't know shit. Oh, yeah, I know we I had went to some lame-ass parties and shit, but I, I don't, never really went on a lot of dates. I'd say the worst one i ever been on. I was taking one for the team. I was taking one for B1. He tried to get up with this broad. He put me up with Denise. This Oof. female sat there with fake hair, fake nail, fake eyelash. She's talking about how special and her body is, and it's a temple, and she got to take care of her hair and her nails, and she got to make sure everything looks good. And I'm like, it finally got to the point, like, that ain't even your hair. <laughs> what you talking about? It's not your hair. Those ain't your nails. Man, look, I'm she man, got look, I told for it, B, though. I told B, I'm gone, she. I'm shaking. <laughs> yeah, she started. Hold Damn. on. Hold on. No, no, no. Let me go back. And in the middle of all this, right, we get we get done with all that bullshit she was talking, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she started talking about Jesus. That's how you kill the first date, don't you? Look. Leave Big J out of this. This is between me and you. <laughs> Fuck shit we talking about hey, J Money for. What we doing out here, man? I mean, because I mean, if it wasn't for Jesus, he wouldn't have brought y'all together, right? Uh, it's the work of the devil, G. <laughs> <laughs> they did this. 
you. It, I thought it was God's plan. God's plan. No, if it was God's plan, it would have been a touchdown. This bro right here, no, that was that was Satan. It was a waste of time. <laughs> the worst for um, I'm talking about five minutes felt like two hours. I'm like, man. oh man, he got it. Yo, I, he better scope because he got me out here with this boring <laughs> motherfucker right here. This motherfucker boring as hell. Hey, like they say, man, I I life give you lemons, I even make lemonade. Out of Costco. I wouldn't even go to Costco. <laughs> so you got a fucking a, a Happy Meal and it's, and it's on the drove through the drive through at McDonald's. You got a Happy Meal. <laughs> With the regular size drink, no motherfucking straw. Hey, look, uh, regular size drink with no straw. No straw, no ketchup, (laughs) nothing. Here you go. And and a burger, not even a cheeseburger, a hamburger. So basically you say she's not worth the dollar and 50 cent hot dog with drink, but you'd rather spend the four, five, six dollars on the Happy Meal for it? No, no, no. I'm talking about back back then when I did it. Back then when I did it, you know, the Happy Meal was like (laughs) (laughs) $2.99. It ain't about the money that I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna save by going to Costco. It's the fact that I don't have to sit there with it. I can just drop my ass off and go about my business. She was terrible. Baby, what you saying? It. Baby, what you saying? You was babysitting. Yeah, man, shit was terrible. That's what I was doing. I mean, look, <laughs> <laughs> it's too much, man. This dating shit is terrible. I feel sorry for people. Imagine if you smoke. Now, if you smoke yeah. a cigar, we had this conversation with women and guys. If you smoke a cigar. You have to find somebody that's okay with you smoking cigars. Because I'm smoking cigars. Mm-hmm. So, if Most you ain't definitely. okay with it, you better you better get okay with it. Yo. That's that's the deal breaker for me. Because I'm going to let you know I smoke cigars. You go all on my shit and see I smoke cigars. And if that's the deal breaker for you, know. guess what? Get your boring ass to go around me. I don't know why I censor word. myself right there. I think we, maybe I cuss too much. <laughs> I self censor right plan. there. God wants you to stop oh, um, cussing so much. No oh, man, it's, that's that's I'm, I censor myself again. Golly, <laughs> See, uh, that's crazy. God though, plan, man. man. <laughs> that's crazy. I'm gonna try to cuss less. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to cuss less. I'm gonna be more professional, so we get more. You know, so we get more guests on here. Welcome to the lounge. Um, yeah, until no, that, that, my friend, I say good fucking luck. Yeah, that's crazy though. You want us to go out? <laughs> we gotta pay. We gotta pay for gas. You right? Gotta pay for a haircut. Pay to get your car washed. We gotta pick you up. Pay for dinner. Pay for parking if it's parking. Take you back to the crib. You got everything for free. And you complain about the meal? You take yeah, your ass to the back and get some oatmeal cookies. Yeah, because you know she went and got some. Because you know she went and got some concealer that was two fifty, some lip gloss that was a fifty dollars to a hundred dollars, and it took her eighteen hours to get dressed and make sure she pick out the right outfit. The least you can do is take none. her to a three hundred dollar dinner. Ain't none of that. <laughs> none of that my concern and or problem. Look, <laughs> I'm gonna go back there and get some cookies. You want you want this yeah you want dessert with this go go get go get a uh, go get one of them cheesecakes we sell some dessert. <laughs> Is it on you? It's on me. I got it. I go get that. get you a cheesecake, baby. We out here. We balling. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Get the Sarah Lee. <laughs> Yeah. No, 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 oh, shit, no, 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 Man, this out here baller status. Baller, yeah, go get the, you know what? Hey, you know what? Go get another bottle of Welchers. <laughs> Take us back to my house. Let's keep the night going. <laughs> Let's keep the party going. Yeah, man, go, go get another bottle of that Welchers, baby. <laughs> 
yeah, I bagged your mama on a dollar fifty co- dollar fifty cent Costco hot dog, some Welch's, and some Eli's. But really, it was Sarah you Lee because they didn't carry Eli there at the time. <laughs> you came on Eli? Yeah, yeah. brought it in with me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Show you how players do. <laughs> brought it in with me. Man, he got you Eli, mama. <laughs> And then we went for some Garrett's popcorn. <laughs> Balling. How, how could you say no to that? Hey, what man. type of evil spirit would say no to that to that to that date that evening? Mm-hmm. I tell you this though. I tell you this though. The first, my opinion, my opinion. When you first date a female, take her to the cheapest shit you can. And that's how you, that's how you see what type of person you're dealing with. Go to a museum. Go get you something to eat. Go to a museum. And I'm not saying that to be cheap or try to say, but you know what type of person you're dealing with. Because if you go to a museum and you go, you know, do something like that, and they sit there like, ugh, you brought me to a museum. I don't see this dusty ass shit. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Okay, cool. Now I know I ain't got to take your ass to no steakhouse. Guess what? You ain't getting no wasabi mashed potatoes, bitch. Guess what? <laughs> go back go back to eating them peasant spuds <laughs> not I'm finna elevate your food game go back to eating broke people uh, broke people potatoes <laughs> go back to eating them potatoes out the box <laughs> oh shit <laughs> I'm helping you I'm, st- I'm helping you step your game up <laughs> Look, oh shit! Your ass is retired. Sometimes bro. you gotta tell her, "Hey, look, don't perpetrate, elevate." <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Not you play around. Don't perpetrate, elevate. Now, for real though, I think that's what you should. I think I think the first date, the first couple dates, you should just go somewhere. This is how we used to do it back in the day. These 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 new women. I don't know what the. I'm glad I ain't got it. I'm glad I ain't in this pool that, no more. That's that's back just because day, you know. That's because, you know, everybody yeah. think they're a 10 nowadays. You know, a lot of y'all no say y'all 10s too, and that's what it don't sit well with me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That shit don't sit well so. with me. All y'all, all you women ain't 10s. That is not sitting well with me. <clears throat> that's Leslie crazy. Man out here thinking she's, Leslie Mann thinking she deserves something extra. We, no, what, damn, why I keep calling her? <laughs> why I keep calling her man? Leslie Mann. Jones. Leslie Jones out here thinking she, <laughs> thinking she a ten. I don't know who put that delusion in her head. <laughs> I don't know who did That's that. Crazy. No, but I, I, um, I say like for the first couple of days you go somewhere. Like remember back in the day we was we was able to go. You go to a movie, you know, go to McDonald's or Burger King or something. You could go to, mm-hmm. and then we in high school. The high school females ain't ain't jockeying us no more. What the fuck is we doing? Here? Like we used to go out to a movie, we go to the beach, we go to a museum, you know, go to go to a game, go to a basketball game or something, chill out, mm-hmm. go to like a little comedy show. You can't even do that with these females no more. That's that's considered settling now. Yeah, you 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 sure, like bro, you sure got high expectations for a person to shop at Timu. <laughs> <laughs> Your expectations is way too high. Mm. What is we doing here? You sitting here, child. You a Timu shopper? And you, you coming here, here trying to go straight to? If you coming here straight, try, straight to trying to get to, coming here straight trying to get to the supervisor position. You better start on these fries first. You know, you can't, you yeah, can't hop out in Timu and telling me I'm going to take you to Gibson's or Morton's or something. You went look. Mm-mm. This is not me judging anything. That's why I say go on a free date and see who you're dealing with. But if I go on this date and we go to McDonald's and go get a burger from somewhere, I want a little local burger joints and we go to the, to the museum and everything, and you acting crazy in Timu, that's wild. That's wild, man. That's flagrant. That's a flagrant foul. You cannot you cannot sit here in McDonald's clothes and be mad at me <laughs> for treating you as such. <laughs> what are we doing? Deep in know. Get you a woman, man. Get you a woman, man. Don't date these females. Get you a woman, man. 
Because a real fe- a real woman, if you take her out to the museum or something, man, they're going to have some fun with that. Or take her to a comedy show or something. A movie. They're going to have fun with that. Watch mo- What's wrong with watching a movie? These motherfuckers it's, are it's like, crazy, oh, yeah. I can't go to the Cheesecake Factory. Hold on. Back to that broad, though. I can't go to the Cheesecake Factory. You mid-grade. No, but, 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 but wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. She didn't want to go to the Cheesecake Factory because it was a chain restaurant, right? Mm-hmm. Do they understand, like, what did that mean? Do they understand that there's a lot, like, higher-end restaurants that are chain restaurants as well? Like, everybody wants to holler Ruth Chris. Ruth Chris is a chain restaurant. You, Ruth Chris you know, is a Ruth chain, Chris is a chain, chain restaurant. 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 Like, understand what's a chain restaurant. Like, everything you going to name, uh, ain't, ain't, is, ain't, is STI a, a chain restaurant? I don't know. What's that? I'm not for sure. I never I know. Like, I looked that up. I know it's a more but, like you know, right in downtown Baltimore. It's more than Baltimore and DC. Yeah, so like, there's a lot of chain records. So, but hold on, let's go past that. A, Remember, so exploring this, right? Dude had a reservation for someplace nice. She made yeah. him wait for an hour. Let yeah. me tell you something. Dude, dude have he really liked this broad or something. Dude. Because if you got me dude outside waiting my car for an hour and I, I told you. 45 minutes before I'm on my way, guess what's going to happen? I ate that by myself. Dude, what's wrong with like, mm-hmm. she, she, I'm not just too nice to go to the Cheesecake Factory. Really? Really? This way, what's yeah, that? That's that place? what you nice. Shin, how you say that shit? It was S-H-I-N. Say what? Like, get the fuck. That little clothing store, that little cheap-ass clothing store. Shit, I don't, I don't even know what you're talking about. Anyway, I'll be because I'll be saying that shit. She over there at that little cheap ass. She got that little cheap ass outfit on. And she like you shop at Rainbow. What are you talking about? You, <laughs> I don't even know if they exist anymore. But I'm just saying, how you gonna sit here? I mean, but you gotta talk about you know, because you know, fashion over is the new rainbow. Okay. You out here forever 21 uh, gear talking about some you dress too nice. What do you you don't get out of here? If you don't cut it. Look at man. That purple lipstick with that green ass dress, like that's dressing nice. That look like the the Riddler get up right there. But anyway, that's like, on there. What do I know? <laughs> it looked it look like she was an older female trying to look young. But anyway, that ain't the point. The point is, that, and there's a lot of dudes like that too. But that ain't the point. The point is this: if somebody takes time out of their life to get you, take you somewhere to get to know you. Have a little bit of appreciation or say no. Mm-hmm. How about that? How about you say no? <clears throat> I mean, I mean, if she didn't want to go to a cheesecake factory, it could have been a simple conversation. She want to go cheesecake factory. You, you, she you got all excited. And, and you, uh, yeah, that too. But at the end of the day, you know, we hear because he told her what he and already he told her the plans. <laughs> She fucked the play. If, if I tell you to play, if I tell you to play, yeah, and you fumble the ball, guess what? You back there by yourself because I'm gone. Yeah. One of, first of all, this man waited an hour for you, and if Cheesecake Factory was a problem, we're adults here. We could have had this conversation in the car when we pulled up to the parking lot. You wait till this, you get all act all normal. Wait till this man get out the car. Start your camera on your on your phone, and then lock his car door. You know what I did? Like, he's the villain. That could have been a whole conversation you know we could have had in the car when we pulled up. We could have had this before we pulled up. You could have had this in the car with me sitting there like, we missed the reservations. Oh, now we're going somewhere else. Well, I don't want to go here. Okay, cool. Well, then you can get out because I'm hungry. Here's my thing. If it's me, Cause, cause look I at- broke that back window and called the cops and said somebody broke into my car. <laughs> I'd have, have broke the back window, walked fast as I could to the restaurant, called now. I want somebody, somebody broke into my car. Hell yeah, but man, dude waited for an hour. So that means he's reasonable. And he could have fucked it. He waited for an hour. They that, have that, a now, that's not the, and, and they that's not even the conversation. Cheesecake. Wait, that's the hour for you to come down. And you know you're not just walking into the cheesecake factory. You know it's going to be a wait. Yeah. And, you know, the fact that he waited for you an hour to get ready shows me 
that he probably could have, uh, he probably would have, if you had a conversation with him, he would, you know, been easier to like, you know, persuade to go somewhere else if you would have approached this the right way. It shows me that he was really interested in getting to know this girl. So mm-hmm. that should be taken into consideration. I mean, since you want to act like a bum, I would have took a bum ass to fucking um, the Waffle House. <laughs> since you want to act like that. I, and you, can, you, can, you, should, you should be able to take her to the Waffle House now because, you know, Sierra, she she went crazy when Russell Russell Wilson took her to the uh, Waffle House for her birthday. So they might accept that. As you should. As you should. <laughs> Sierra, from, is she from the Waffle House culture? <laughs> you can't be from down oh, yeah. there in the ATL and don't go to the Waffle House. Now. Mm-hmm. The Waffle House is they Waffle staple. House is they staple. Waffle House is the shit, though. A lot of violence in yeah. some, some places, but they shit. I, I had a bad, I had a bad experience at the one I tried to go to. I'm gonna try another one. That's the <laughs> that's what makes the food so great. Bad experience. <laughs> you missed the point, my friend. <laughs> That's what it's about. It's about the experience. Here I am. Here I am thinking it was about the food. Okay. I'm thinking about. I'm thinking it's about the dry ass waffles, but cool. It's about. It's about the disappointment. The waffle house is all about disappointment. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Like bad experience. Oh my god, it's it's like seasoning for the food, you know, like the bad experience, you know. You... <laughs> <laughs> I made ingredients of salt, pepper, the and fuck, disappointment. The fuck, the fuck you think this is? The IHOP, nigga. Like this is <laughs> just the fucking waffle house. Oh, I'm not messing with you no more. Oh, it's the last show of the year, y'all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yo, 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 yo. Me. So, so let me go ahead and put this caveat in here. Um, we won't be on next week. Um, next week, I uh, is it next week? I'm gonna be in Vegas <laughs> for TPE, so we gonna, I'm, we gonna take care of that. Um, but um, mm-hmm. this shit crazy. Like, what? Where? I would see. We should have got. We gonna have this conversation again with a female. Where is it? Am I supposed to take if I can't do they had an extensive ass list? That shit crazy. I like, took it to add the bivet like, in that case. Or Dick's last the resort. Motherfuckers, the, motherfuckers, <laughs> the motherfuckers say you can't even take them to the movies. Like, wow. Like, who doesn't like going to the movies? I don't know. I don't know. Who raised these motherfuckers? I think, like, wasn't, like, Manager Golf or some dumb shit was on that list or something? Manager Golf was on that list. Well, manager Golf is fucking fun. <laughs> like, what the fuck? It's fun. Who the hell don't like... What evil motherfucker don't like Manager Golf? <laughs> I don't know, man. And they, in most Manager Golf court. places... <laughs> most Manager Golf places, they have a fucking bar for the most part, right? <laughs> yeah, most of them. What you doing? Kicking on the dinosaur? But fuck this little bullshit. I hate this ball. You swinging golf clubs at people? Who? Who? They say you can't even take you up. You can't even take a broad out for ice cream. Y'all out here eating ice cream, man? Who eats ice cream, man? Motherfucker. Motherfucker, wait a minute. Y'all got a whole fucking tub of ice cream in the house right now. <laughs> and I can't take you out for ice cream? <laughs> Everybody, I, mean, I do want some ice cream. <laughs> Unrelated, but related. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give, give you some ice cream. Yo, that's wild though, man. It's wild though. Like I say, it's wild. The expectations, man. I get, we gonna get, we gonna find us a single female to put on the show. We want to talk to. We want to talk to a single woman about this situation. We got to find us a single woman to talk about this situation. Maybe man, Lisa. Look here. I'm thinking maybe Lisa. Lisa. Lisa would probably be perfect for this. I don't know if he's a single. That's the problem. I don't know if she's single. Who the fuck is single? I don't know who we don't know. I don't think we know any single cigar smokers. You know why? Because we found each other's sisters. (laughs) 
We ain't got to go through the daily poop. We don't got that expensive ass goofy list that the regular people got. We, all this, if you take a, if you take a female that smokes cigars to a nice cigar bar, man, look, she gonna buy you a cigar. Oh my goodness, I've never been here before. Okay, well here, I got you a cigar and I got you a drink. Start off with some Woodford. Woodford? I'll be right back. Man, she fuck around and bring you a, a Padron or something. You get a late hour. <laughs> <laughs> And you ain't have to do oh, this. Man. I know I didn't have to, but thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> like, that's crazy, man. It's just the expectations on dating is crazy. It's what are you wild. supposed to do now, man? We can't go to Costco? I don't know. We can't go to Costco? Hey, it's, not a, it's not on the list, B. It's not on the it's list. Game. It's not on the list. And they better not put it on the list. Y'all better <laughs> leave it the fuck off the list. <laughs> Yeah, if the day go well, you might get some man, if the day go well, you might get some groceries in your refrigerator afterwards. If the day go well, I'm gonna get you a 50 pack of toilet tissue. Who don't need toilet <laughs> tissue? <laughs> we might even get new uh ATT phone lines. You know what? I'll get you a bathrobe. You got you tired of you get out your bathroom <laughs> slipping. You, know bad, what? Bro. you Here you go. I don't even know if you got a bath, bro. This is our first date, but yeah, here you go. You know what? You look like you need an air purifier. You know what? We got out of here. You look like you were shivering. Let me buy you one of these little $4 um, hoodies they got. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Oh, you know what? Take all of them. We ball. Don't waste none of that cheesecake on there, though. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the cheesecake factory. It's a uh, cheesecake factory is sub part of. Let's be honest. Yeah. No, no, hold on. Let me let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. For the price, it's sub par. Yeah. But if you go to Chicago, take your ass to Eli's. Do not go to the cheesecake factory. Go to Eli's. Yeah, yeah. But not cheesecake factory for the prices. This is very. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't impressed with the cheesecake factory. Yeah, I mean, it's very underwhelming. If motherfuckers want to take motherfuckers there for a date, I mean, it's fine. It's cool. I personally just don't care for the Cheesecake Factory like that. Oh, don't take me. Hey, if we're on the first date, you think you're going to take me to the Cheesecake Factory? Oh, you broke? Just say that. <laughs> I bet your fat ass they're going to go eat. <laughs> I, I could tell you this. I could tell you. Oh, you must, if you broke, just say that. Uh, don't bring me here. I can't go here. Why can't you go here? This ain't ain't no bad bitch section here. Ain't, ain't, ain't one bad bitch section in this motherfucker. I ain't finna walk up in here. <laughs> I need to go with a bad bitch in here. <laughs> well, you better go. Well, good luck on finding them. Uh, good luck in your endeavors, huh? I'll see you later. Take me, take me, take me, take me to Wingstop. <laughs> and let me pepper my wings. <laughs> I'll take you to, I'll take you to Harold's and get you a two piece. Shut the hell up. <laughs> How much is it for? How much is the chicken? Whoa, it's the ten piece. Whoa, 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 whoa. The six piece. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, we getting ahead of ourselves. The three piece. Uh -huh. Get the get the two well, piece. Individual pieces are a dollar. Oh, there we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't get. Yeah, get them the two piece snack. Give me the two piece snack with fries and mild sauce, please. And and please, 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 <laughs> drench the bread, please. She loves it like that. I got you, honey. It's okay. First date. I, I'll take care of you. <laughs> Love her bread wet. <laughs> the first date. I'll, take, I'll take care. I'll take care. I'll take care of people when I date. But it's my first it's our first day. I'm gonna make it special for you. That shit crazy. <laughs> All right, let's go eat in the, let's go let's get the hell away from here. We're on the south side. We gotta go real quick. <laughs> get in the car. We're gonna find some the damn to car. <laughs> Pop, pop, pop. Bitch, get in the car! <laughs> <laughs> Come here, let's go get shot out here. You playing around. <laughs> Try to keep you safe. And give you some good-ass wings, too. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm trying to return you the same way I found you. You ain't had no hole in your head. Get your dumb ass in the car. Let's go. <laughs>
<laughs> the fuck? Oh, oh man. Oh, oh man, we gotta have a round table. We gotta have a round table talk. <laughs> oh. You gotta have us a round table episode about this day. <laughs> Raise your hands crazy. that would accept a first day to Costco. <laughs> actually, I'm actually I'm gonna write down the list. We're gonna run through the list now. We're gonna have a full fucking uh, conversation about this is an interesting conversation. Where where what is acceptable on first date? I can tell you what's not acceptable. Think we finna go somewhere and you finna eat lobster. That's unacceptable. If you order lobster on the first date, it, it, that is a silent agreement that something's gonna happen after this date. I get tired of these. I get so I get so tired of these dudes catering. Oh, well, these this woman don't owe you anything. Mother mother, she ordered three or four lobsters, she do owe me. You know how much this shit cost? I ain't talking about having sex. I'm talking about she owed me physical, she owed me money. Like real life money. <laughs> Damn the sex. You can keep the sex. I want the cash. Matter of fact, you know what? Keep the money. Just come on my uh come cut my grass every uh every two weeks for like for like uh six months. <laughs> I need a I'll let you work it off. I'll let you work it off. So oh, girl, you. I understand we go to like a burger joint or something, you eat, you know, a little Wahlbergs or something, you eat like a twenty dollar burger, okay, cool. But if we go there and you you smashing crab legs and oysters and stuff, oh no, no. No, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> I just spent 20 minutes. I will, sit there and wait and see, I will sit back. Here's what I would do. I will sit back and wait and see what you order. I'll let her go first. I'll let you order that shit. Hey, let me get uh let me get a coke. I sit there, drink that coke. I'm like, man, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I'ma slide out, go to the front, pay for my bit, pay my coke. And get on out there. Hey, it's for the coke, man. I know it's like two fifty here. You go five, man. Keep the keep the change. Oh, uh, the food's not ready. Oh no, that's her food. It's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's not mine. I'm waiting to see if you take advantage. <laughs> if you, here's the thing. And it's dudes like that. It's dudes like that, man. And I've I saw this, especially in the cigar community. I've saw this. When motherfuckers is well, you know, you you buying stuff and you're like, hey, you go grab something. Mm-hmm. And they don't want to grab like the little, you know what I'm saying, the little mid the mid-range stuff. They don't want to grab the seven to ten, seven to twelve dollars stuff. They want to go for the 15, 17, 18. No, buddy, hold on. What you doing? Exactly. No, 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 no. I buy this because I'm paying. I can afford this. You broke. You get the get you something in that range down there. Go medium. She got me telling my when they on a date, like, hey, hold on. It's our first date. I don't mm. know you. You don't get steak and lobster, and I don't know you. No, you going, we getting chicken. I get steak, you get chicken. You can't be all, you can't put them on the audition. You're supposed to come right out and give them the on the part. Ain't no audition. Like, what you doing? Ain't no interview. This an interview. You gotta give them the job right away. It's an interview right here. This is an interview. You, ain't no guarantee you're going, man, who's wrong? What's wrong with you? Who, mm-hmm. what, who raised you? <laughs> I said that before I leave. So I'm like, I go to the bathroom. But before I go, who raised you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the question. Really, that's the question. The question let them know that you ain't coming back. Did you really just get lobster and lobster mac and cheese? I'll be back, man. <laughs> oh, and I hope she got Uber money. I hope she got Uber money. Because I'm gone. Damn. I Damn, suggest that to anybody, it. male or female, if you go on a date and you paying for this date, pay attention to what they get. If they going out here and they want to get all this lobster and steak and stuff, they can enjoy that. But it's on their dime. Mm-hmm. Insert, insert Stephen A. right here saying, blasphemous! <laughs> uh, oh, crazy. Shit. Wow, man. Hey. It is what it is. It is what it is. Shout out to Mason Cam. Uh, Cam. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> any on these on these um uh, these uh man, who shadow man. female? Not really, man. Shit. I mean, not really because um I ain't got to deal with them. So fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> I don't need. But with that being said, 
Costco is a first date. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and get up out of here. <laughs> On the local oh. hero, remind you as always to blow your smoke like a goddamn gentleman and gentlewoman. Costco is a first date. I don't give a damn if he's on the list or not. Costco is a first date. I'm finna get church made. Make Costco great again. <laughs> we out, y'all. Peace. Peace. What's up, everybody? It's your local hero. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to like, share, subscribe. Catch us on YouTube. Right here on YouTube. Make sure you catch us on YouTube. I want you to catch us on Facebook, Cigar Lounger Podcast, Rumble, Cigar Lounger Podcast, Spotify, Cigar Lounger Podcast, Anchor FM, Cigar Lounger Podcast, TikTok, Cigar Lounger Podcast. I want you to catch us on IG. Can you catch us under the gentleman or Cigar Lounger Podcast? Either one of those works. So um, go ahead. Thank you guys for, uh, for liking the video. I hope you like the video. Um, and follow us on all our social media sites. We everywhere you get your shit from. <laughs>